Hi, my name's Sanj Kakar. I'm a hand and wrist surgeon here at Mayo Clinic. And I just wanted to spend a few minutes today talking to you about a condition that I see a lot in clinic. I literally have just come from clinic today, and I wanted to talk to you about that, which is uh, an area of injury that we see a lot of uh, in this area here. Um, it's a common I issue that we see. You may have tripped and fallen. You may have been running and fallen and fallen onto an outstretched right hand and your wrist is hurting and it's just not getting better. So is that important? Should you worry about that? Most of the time when we fall, you probably treat yourself with rest, maybe put some ice, maybe put a bandage around your wrist and it gets better. But sometimes it doesn't and it lingers and it may have lingered for a while and then gets better or it lingers and it doesn't get better. Should that be some cause of concern? So what I wanted to share with you is, is why this area is important and it's something that you should be thinking about when you come and, for example, see a hand surgeon or a doctor. There are essentially four things to think about in this area. Sometimes we worry about a swelling in this area. It's like a little grape, like a ganglion. It's a cyst that's in, in this area. Sometimes when your wrist goes backwards, it actually hits the back of the bone. So here I have this hand model here basically showing the bones of the wrist. And if you look at it from the side, this one doesn't move, but when it goes backwards, it hits back in here. And it can either be the bone or the, or the tissues. Basically, they're, they're the soft tissues that the lining that cover the bones. But what I want to talk to you today is about a ligament injury that happens between the bones. Now, what are ligaments? Ligaments are basically ropes that connect bones together. And we have an important ligament here that connects a bone here called the scaphoid and another bone here called the lunate, called the scaphalunate ligament. Don't worry about the name, but just think of this rope connecting those bones together. Now, why is that rope important? When you move your wrist back and forth, all the bones in your wrist move concentrically, they move together. And that's important. That's why you're able to do whatever you want to do in life without pain. But sometimes when you injure that ligament, those bones in your wrist don't move together and they move out of plane and that can cause you pain. For example, you can't do a push-up anymore, you can't do Pilates, you're in yoga, you can't get down in that downward dog position. And that's that area that hit, that's hurting you and it doesn't go away. Or you may recall that you may have injured it several years ago and it went away and it's come back again. You did something innocuous. You were, for example, lifting something, as a suitcase and something you, you hurt in, in your wrist. Actually, it wasn't the suitcase that hurt, it was that injury several years ago. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. So your history when you come and see us is really important. Did you have a fall recently or in the past? The examination is critical. Now the beauty of the wrist is that there's not many structures here, there's just skin and some soft tissue. So really using your finger, you can hone in on that ligament and really press in there. That's the history in the exam is critical because sometimes your doctor may have ordered x-rays or an MRI scan or a CAT scan. Now these tests are not 100%. And the aha moment for me has been over the years of taking care of patients like yourself with this injury is that if the tests aren't telling you you have this problem but your history and clinical examination is, how do we diagnose this? Now here at Mayo Clinic we're very lucky. We have a research tool that we're using where we basically ask you to move your wrist back and forth and it's a live CAT scan of the wrist but that's research. That's allowing us to try and understand this problem better. But for what we do here now is that we put a small camera in your wrist. Now a camera is called an arthroscopy. And over years that technology has got better and better, like your TV. 20 years ago it was just standard color TV. Now we have 4K and so the technology is getting better and it's the same with the camera. This camera is now two millimeters and it's tiny. And it allows us to pop the camera in the wrist and try and treat this. Now we're very fortunate that in Mayo Clinic in 1973 so 47 years ago, I can tell you that without doing the maths because that's my age, is that that's when that diagnosis was popularized by our, our colleagues here, Dr. Dobbins and Lynchide. But more than 47 years later, we still don't have the gold standard of how to treat this. And that's been the beauty of this evolution that I've learned over the last decade, is trying to piece this together in different formats. There are several things that we have to think about. We have to think about the location of the injury. We have to think about, did it happen recently or did it happen in the past? Because the tissue may not be healthy to repair. Can you imagine picking up wet tissue paper? Your fingers will just fall through it. Well, sometimes that can be the same in your wrist. 
if you have this injury and it's gone on for several years, you may have arthritis in your wrist. Now that's a different story because that's basically meant that those bones have moved out of place for so long that we can't reconstruct that ligament anymore and we have to think about something else. Remember, surgery, for example, if you have arthritis, isn't the immediate answer. There's many things that we can do. We can do splints, we can do injections. Our hand therapists are wonderful in terms of trying decreasing your pain. But my point is trying to see you earlier on before you get arthritis because there's things that we can try and do there. Not only do we ha have to worry about this ligament injury in this area here, but we've learned over the years that there's other important ligaments that may have been injured and we have to try and appreciate their injury because they need, may need to be repaired at the same time. Are the bones in the right position or are they moved? All of these questions sort of permeate one's mind to try and see how your injury may be different to somebody else. Because the problem with this injury is that no two injuries are the same. And yet if we use the same treatment to try and treat everybody's wrist injury, the results can be varied. Well, we've spent a few minutes today talking about the problem that you may be experiencing. I, I have to get back to clinic now and, and see patients, but, but thank you for the privilege of spending time with me. And my takeaways from this are, if you've hurt your wrist, if it sprains, if it hurts, don't ignore that. See your local doctor, see a hand surgeon, we can help you. We have many more answers than we used to have. We don't have all the answers by any stretch of the imagination, but we have more. But what was really helpful, for example, for me is if you can really be exact in where it hurts you. I often ask my patients, take a Sharpie and mark on the skin where it hurts because it's that specific. And if you could do that, that will help us try and help you get you back to doing what you love to do. Thank you very much.